just this far. Entertainment news update video. I just dropped one recently, but some uh, some some more movie some more news pertaining to the movie industry and our big big name, specifically Marvel and DC related. Some more news has come. Some more news has come out that I wanted to talk about. So if you like this video, if you like videos like this, entertainment news updates, trailer reactions, movie reviews, TV show reviews with Andor out, House of the Dragon, Rings of Power, if you're looking for reviews for any of those shows, subscribe to the Brandon Cry Network. You will not regret it. Now let's get into the. Now let's get into some of the news that has come out. So starting off with DC today, it has actually been... Some news has come out that DC... Or some news has come out that Warner Brothers could potentially be getting sued by the shareholders for lying to them for the amount of HBO Max subscribers that they said they had. Now, this isn't great. I haven't done too much research into this particular topic myself, and I'm going to. But I, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I mentioned in my video that I just dropped that there was there was a there's things circulating that um, that the people at Discovery only bought Warner Brothers so that they can end up flipping it and just selling it down the line in a couple of years and that they actually don't have a plan for it to become. it to be well done and for the ship to be corrected it, it in this rumor it is be in this rumor it is being said that and it is a rumor but it's being said that this was a potential and a potential that this was a potential that this was a potential that this could be a reason why they ended up buying Warner Brothers in the first place so it, it just seems like there's a lot of Bad news kind of coming out of DC. There just seems like there's a lot of bad news or just like not great news coming out of Warner Brothers. Along with that and the Black Adam trailer controversy with the Snyder fans going crazy because they saw the Joss Whedon footage in the trailer. So there's just a lot of whenever like you see Warner Brothers in like in articles and stuff, it's not really great anymore. So just just a quick update on that front that this could be way more serious. Obviously, that other stuff. Even though the stuff about them buying Warner Brothers to then sell it is very serious. Them being sued potentially by shareholders is even more serious. So I just needed so I just wanted to get that information out there and that update out there regarding Warner Brothers. Now moving into now moving into Marvel. There is a report going out there and it is it, 
take this with a grain of salt, but is reporting that She-Hulk and Hulk will actually be in Captain America 4, which is interesting and somewhat plausible because they did reveal that the leader who was in the Incredible Hulk is going to be the villain or the main antagonist in Captain America 4. I don't know how I feel about that crossover. It's going to be interesting. But I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't have minded seeing Sam get his own movie as Captain America and him come into his own as that character. I do love crossovers, especially if it makes sense for the story and it really works. So I'm interested, really interested to see if that ends up being true and if, and if it will and if it'll work. But I do still hope that it doesn't take away from Anthony Mackie's Sam as Captain America and this being his first movie. And I'm very interested in it being a New World Order. That title alone of Captain America makes me very, very, very interested. So, quick update coming out of Marvel and... And a movie, a big movie that is coming on the horizon. Now, the last bit of MCU news that came out, and this is, this is a big one. Big time jump, big time jump, we're gonna need to cut off. Now the last bit of news pertaining to the MCU, this is a big one, and for the Blade fans, people really, really excited for Blade. Me being one of them, I love Wesley Snipes' Blade, love Blade 1, 2, I even love the third one. The second one to me is amazing. I, I love the Blade movie, so I'm really interested and excited for Mahershala Ali's Blade. But a report recently came out that the director for Blade has recently dropped out, and there was a report that came out that said he dropped out because there were scheduling conflicts. Because the movie kept being pushed and pushed and pushed. I honestly don't really believe that because as an up-and-coming director that doesn't have a lot of credits, if you get a chance at a Marvel movie, you're gonna clear your you're gonna clear your schedule completely to make sure that you make this movie. So I don't know if I really believe that. There was a report that came out, and then there was another report that came out from Jeff Snyder on the direct that basically said the real reason he dropped out was because Mahershala Ali is kind of unhappy with what's going on in the movie. The script is supposedly only 90 pages, which like in movie terms is like the bare minimum to kind of make like a theatrical movie. It's also reported that the movie has two lackluster action scenes and that Kevin Feige is not really involved in the project because he's, he's spread thin with all of the Marvel projects going on. And again, even in the report, it said, take this with a grain of salt. Don't shoot the messenger. It's, it's what it said in the article. So this could be very, very, very interesting if more information comes out about this. If this is the case, they're going to have to find a new director because this movie was set to start shooting in November, which is around the corner. So they're going to have to find someone to come on board ASAP. And if those reports are true about the lackluster fight scenes and Mahershala Ali not being happy... I don't know, man. I, I really I really hope they could kind of figure this out because I am interested in seeing Blade and they have been introdu introducing a lot of the mythological, supernatural elements like with Werewolf by Night coming out. There, you know what I mean? That alone is basically saying like we're getting into that realm. So 
I'm interested to see Blade, and I really hope it come, and I really hope they figure it out, and it does come out. So if more if more updates come out regarding Blade, I will be sure. If more news if more news comes out regarding Blade, I will be sure. If more news comes out regarding Blade comes out. If more news comes out pertaining to Blade. If more news comes out pertaining to Blade, I will be for sh- Oh my god. If more news comes out regarding Blade, I will be- If more news comes out- Oh my god. If more news comes out regarding this movie, I will for sure report on it. That is it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you think you'd be interested in content like this, trailer reactions, movie reviews, TV show reviews, subscribe to the Brandon Crime Network. You will not regret it. I appreciate you for watching. Catch you next time. I can't even speak. I can't even speak, goddamn.